With e-commerce sales currently booming, there's never been a better time to get started with online arbitrage. I'm gonna be joined in this video by Thomas Parkinson, who is gonna be a seven-figure online arbitrage seller pretty soon. He's currently smashing it, did 70K sales in his past 30 days. And in this video, I'm gonna be giving you top tips to get started in your online arbitrage business. The things that Thomas and I both would have changed if we'd done things differently. So this is massive. This is from sellers who have been there and done it and make sure you pay attention to these. And also, as a thank you for checking this out, if you stay tuned till the end, I'm gonna give you a free six step guide to starting your own online arbitrage business. So stay tuned to the end and you'll be able to get that. Cheers guys, it's Luke Friday here from iGen Entrepreneur. I hope you're doing well. All right, thanks for joining me, Tom. It's good to have you here in sunny Gran Canaria. We're currently on the balcony and I don't even know how to pronounce the name of the place we're at so I'm going to pass over to you quickly for those who don't know who Tom is do you want to quickly summarize your sort of journey so far fantastic well uh, thanks Luke for she say inviting me and obviously she say asking me these questions and hey enjoying the sunny balcony that is Gran Canaria it's a beautiful country right now and I'm very happy to be here so uh, my name is Thomas Parkinson and I'm the owner and founder of Fast Track FBA and also as well prior to starting Fast Track FBA which is an Amazon support service I've actually been selling on Amazon for four years as an arbitrage seller. Um, I've been doing that pretty much for the first year, should we say, in London. And I always thought that I was going to be moving out of the, the city because of my girlfriend at the time and her work. But so we started the whole process of doing online arbitrage remotely, knowing that we'd have to leave the city. And then actually we broke up. And, uh, and since then, since breaking up for the last three years, I've pretty much been traveling around the world, most of the time in Asia, predominantly Vietnam, beautiful country, running my online arbitrage business and I'd probably say just making the most of life. That's it really. And obviously connecting with you, Luke, talking to you and sharing sharing the journey, sharing sharing the business, sharing what we're doing. Oh, that's awesome. And thanks for summarizing. And yeah, really interesting. I suppose the one thing that stands out to me, I know we've spoken about it, is some plans that you potentially got for next year and potentially venturing over to the uh, across the pond over to the US. Do you want to shed some light on that? So if you don't know, I uh, while I've been selling in the UK and we are right now doing, you know, we're on a goal, to, a mission to do 1 million over the course of next year or 2021. So one of the goals that I was thinking about is quite recently, I'm selling a house at home in a city that I lived in in Norwich. And I thought I could go buy another house, I could do something like that, but Amazon's making so much money, there's so much opportunity. And I've also seen as well that even the UK is great and we've, we're doing really, really well in it. But I thought, hey, there's another opportunity over the pond in America. And I thought about, hey, starting out there, maybe starting afresh, starting from the beginning, again in the USA, running two businesses, or my third actually. But also as well, tying that within, within some kind of road trip drive around the whole of the USA, I think I think to Luke, grab a car in New York, drive down to Miami, and then all the way across to California. You know, that would be a, a once in a lifetime trip. And hey, you know, we can do it because we run businesses remotely. And also as well, we don't need a full 40 hours a week to do it. We've got teams in the Philippines that do it for us. And we just need to be there a couple of hours a week supporting them in their businesses, which is great. And that allows us to live the life that we want to live. Oh, that's awesome. That's, that's really cool. And so I suppose, look, this video is about people getting started with their Amazon Amazon business. And I think you're going to have something similar, obviously, in the USA, but you've already got these four years of experience, four years of experience. So I guess for, for those who are just starting out, like one, do you think it's you think it's still a good time to get into online arbitrage? And yeah, I suppose then, like, what kind of things would you recommend for those who want to get started? Well, interesting question and certainly a really valid one. You know, so many people reach out to me and talk about starting on arbitrage. So I think, you know, for me, answering your first question is now a good time to get started. Well, hopefully you can see the fact that we're going to start another business doing it from scratch in America it says yes like by any stretch of imagination yes now is a great time people kind of think about like oh arbitrage this is this new thing that's just happening well actually fundamentally what is arbitrage buy low sell high effectively trade and it's been going around since the dawn of time before money itself so all we're doing is doing trade so whether it exists you know in the way we do it now or in the future it's always going to happen so we're just doing it in the modern world using modern marketplaces such as amazon now if you are just starting and where i am i think you know what am i going to be thinking about when i start 
start my Amazon business in the US? Well, quite simply, it's going to be about getting the right information, making sure that I know what I need to be doing as quick as possible to get me up to speed. And if you want to know, even in my UK business, I was talking to Luke about this, you know, we're on a mission to do 1 million. You know, one of the things I'm looking about is getting a mentor, you know, maybe an eight figure seller, not a seven figure, but an eight figure seller to help support me in learning new knowledge that maybe I don't know. You don't know what you don't know. So we're going to be doing that, getting our knowledge, our skills up to where they need to be and always improving them. Then I think the next one is really just valuing our time. You know, I can stick my head down and start packing boxes, getting over to America, doing that. And I just don't, I've not found value in that in the in the UK. It's not where I add value. I can get a prep center to do that. Um, and then I think probably the final one, which would be about more following on from time, is thinking about your teams. And now your teams are going to be like your prep center, but also they can be VAs. They can be, even be like lead services that you're using, getting leads, because these people are providing you with information which you can then analyze and then buy deals and invest it in your business. So quite simply there, I I think knowledge, time, really valuing that and building your team. Those three things, if you do them well and do them right, you know, we've seen it time and time again with many mm -hmm. people, they just shot up. So hopefully, what I will say is I'm not an expert. I never please look at me saying I'm, I'm this kind of guru, I'm not. But hopefully we're doing really well in the UK and you can see my YouTube videos about that. But also in the US, we're gonna take a lot of what we've learned from that in the UK experience and then do the same thing again in the US of A. Hopefully, repeat the success. Yeah, no, hopefully. I'm excited to follow your journey anyway. And look, I think there was a ton of information there. So look, if you're watching this and you haven't yet got started with online arbitrage, you're just getting started, don't worry if some of that's going over your head. Just to kind of remind you, I will be giving you sort of a free resource to help with that. But I just kind of want to summarize there, maybe because there was a lot of information, what would maybe your three biggest takeaways be for those who are watching this and maybe haven't even yet got going selling or just getting started and yeah, what would your biggest three tips be? So if I kind of bring it back to what I said before, I mean, if you're really just getting started, knowledge is key, you don't know what you don't know. And hey, I'm still, do, you know, I'm doing on a mission to do a million and I still know there's a lot that I don't know. So that is fundamentally, if you do the wrong decisions, it's gonna have a profound impact. So getting that knowledge up to where it needs to be. And that can be anything like mentoring, coaching, courses, information, reaching out, asking people questions. You know, that is all about just testing, testing, testing your knowledge. I'd probably say number two, is you need to commit, take action. You know, this is this is a business at the end of the day. It's a life that we're trying to build and you've got to really just allocate time to it. I talked about time previously. You know, if it's two hours a day that you can do, four hours a day you can do, allocate that time, make it happen. So, you know, plan out what you're going to do in that time. That's really important. So knowledge, time, and I think probably what, the third one is probably look for things which are gonna help leverage. So are gonna get you to where you want to be quicker. Now, that might be, you know, courses, it might be mentors, coaches, it might be, you know, I talked about VAs, they, they're gonna be working for you in, in there when you're asleep. It might be leads where you're getting information for you, say you're having to source. Looking at things which can leverage other people's experience, skills, hours a day, knowledge, that is just gonna help you get where you want to be. And at the end of the day, you've got to think why are we doing this? We're doing this because we want the result. We want the result of the money, the life. And it's really important to understand that and invest now to get where you want to be quicker. Don't spend 10 years getting there. Make an investment today and get back, get there in, in one year. And hey, we've seen it. People who have really focused on that knowledge, they focus on teams, they excel, they accelerate so much quicker and they get the result quicker. So knowledge, okay, so I said knowledge, understanding your knowledge. Number two, and protecting your time, being very, very protective over your time and allocating the right time that you're gonna do. And then number three, leverage. Leveraging things which are gonna help you get ahead and ahead quicker, that is gonna really help you out. Yeah, I think that's really interesting. It's something I can relate to a lot because I look back to when I was starting out and for me, for those who don't know, I had started when I was a university student and sort of dropped out and really, that's where I kind of got the ball rolling. But for me, it was really a case of, I wasn't strapped for cash. It was very much a thing of, I wanted to try and get this business going sort of as cheaply as possible. And so I would use free resources and YouTube and Facebook groups and all this, but Tom made the point of, you don't know what you don't know. And okay, in the short term, that worked all right. But, and it got me to about the 10K sales a month, but ultimately it kind of felt like I had taken my dream of entrepreneurship and replaced it with some sort of not so good full-time job in a way and I then felt lots of cracks in my business and I've, I've worked with 
Tom before. And that's where I've really noticed a, some growth in my business when I started to invest in these resources that fix these foundations, I suppose. And I, I sort of look at it from like you take a swing with a um, golf club and if you hit that ball even slightly off, that's just gonna carry on going on out with angle. And that's almost like it was for me because I was making mis these mistakes that were just compounding on top of each other. And yes, it's got me to where I wanna be now, but it feels like it was a lot harder and took a lot more time than it needed to be. So I think, look, for me, I really noticed change in my business when I invested in resources in coaching and some programs, but that's sort of what I felt. And in hindsight, I would have done things differently. And so for me, uh, that's why I've put together a free resource. So a six step blueprint, which I've sort of referred to, and that's just gonna be a free download in the description. So if you wanna use that to help you and um, like full transparency for me, I work with people, I work with clients to that are now seeing results to really accelerate them to get to similar stage to where, where I am. And ultimately, I wanna give you massive value in this guide so that you go in and book a 60 minute free call with us. And there's no obligation on that call, but for me, like, yes, if you're a fit, I wanna get you onto that that training program and help you to get results. But the only way you're gonna find out if you're a good fit is by jumping into using that free resource and um, seeing if it's for you. So yeah, no, thank you for thank you for joining me, Tom. I think there's been some great points there. Is there anything else you would say before we finish up? No, I think that's good. Thank you very much for having me. And, and hey, it's lovely to be out here in, in the beautiful sun that is Grand Canaria. Thank you. Oh, it really is. The, the weather here is beautiful. I might even say, warm virgin on the too hot temperature today it's been uh been lovely although maybe that's me for wearing a long sleeve black shirt not the not the smartest decision maybe <laughs> so yeah it's been a pleasure and just remember guys you're just one blueprint away thank you